Hey guys, this is my other way to jailbreak your iPod Touch 2nd generation or your iPhone 3GS. This works 2nd generation, MB and MC perfectly, and it works with the iPhone 3GS. Perfect. It does not support any other version of iPod or iPhone. Now you want to download two things, Red Snow and the iPod um, store. I'll have a website in the description with um, all the ISPWs you need. Now first things first, on your, if you have an iPod Touch, this is very important. You want to go to your settings. You want to go to your general about. Now, go down to um, your version should be 4.1, your model. The first two digits of your model are very important. Wait, let me turn down the light on this thing. Is it general? Sorry about the crappy quality on the iPod. Let's go to about again. Now your model. See if I can focus this thing. It should it'll the first two digits will either be MC or MB. The difference is if you have an MC model, you need a tethered boot up. If you have an MB, you do not. Basically what a tethered boot up is, it means like if most people know if your iPod's off, if you plug it into the computer, it turns on. Well, if your iPod ever gets turned on, you have to turn it that on that way every time, or you'll lose your jailbreak. With MB, you do not need that. Mine's an MB version. Now, to now you want to download the firmware, iPod Touch. You want to download the iPod Touch version for your model, MB or MC then red snow. Now with this, when you get it, it'll look like this. If you hit open, it'll look like this. Hit up, and then you should see the zip file, drag it to your desktop. You want to now rename this. Change the .rar extension to IPSW. It'll say file extension, maybe come on usable, say yes. It should look like that now. Open Red Snow. Close. Now it's going to say browse. At this point, you want to plug in your iPod or iPhone for that case. Make sure it's on. And it should be charging. Now hit browse. Find the IPSW file on your desktop. It's going to say processing. Now, it's going to say, is this an MC model of the iPod Touch 2G? It tells you how to check um, if your model type is. But basically, I do note that MC models cannot yet have custom logos and require tether boot up on power up. Basically, I told you like that. Basically, if you have an MC, hit yes. If you have an MB, hit no. Hit next. Let's just say connecting the server, patching kernel, and all that. Now it's going to give you connections. It says install studio, verbose boot, custom boot logo, custom recovery logo, enable multitasking, and enable home screen wallpaper. Yes, I recommend enabling the home screen wallpaper, enable the multitasking, and enable the verbose boot. That's what I recommend. Enable battery percentage, that's all you. Now, hit next. It just says, please make sure your device is both powered off and plugged in to the computer. You just power off your iPod or iPhone. And it goes wee 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 spinnies. And once it's off, 
hit next. Now it's going to say hold down the power button for three seconds. Now we want to hold the home button in with it. Let go. Now it should come up with a white screen saying waiting for reboot. Your screen should be white. It'll say waiting for reboot. White screen. Now it should say prefers. After a while, it'll say uploading second stage. Now, once it says waiting for reboot again. Now, it should say downloading jailbreak data. Got the little download drive. On this, it'll say uploading ROM disk. And you're downloading jailbreak data. And that is a very good thing. For those of you who don't know. This should say uploading the kernel and then rebooting. Now everything else about the jailbreak happens on your iPod. It'll just spin, spin, spin its life away. On your computer you can hit finish. Now, I did not make this program, I did not design it, and didn't even help me think about it. This is just me showing you guys how to use it. So, be happy. Camcorder is about to die. That's seven minutes, too. Oh, spinny, spinny, spinny. Okay. Basically, now it's going to have the running pineapple. I love that old pineapple. But basically, with the running pineapple, once that meter at the bottom is full, you have a jailbroken iDevice. iPod Touch 2nd Gen, iPhone 3GS. I mean, iPhone 3G. I'm not sure if it works with the 3GS yet. Like I said, I'll have the both the files in the description. Uh, you won't have to change the raw file into the I, um, IPSW. I'll do that for you guys. And well, thanks for watching. Rate, comment, subscribe. I'll show you guys how it runs real quick. See, that's the um, Virgo boot. If you had selected that, it's a makes it look like it's being hacked, but it's no, really not. Now, if you didn't select Virgo boot, and it does this, it's probably because of the first boot. Now, if you had the um, MC, remember you got to do the tethered boots. It's working, it's working. It should still say your personal stuff. Now just let it load. Okay. You should now have Cydia. If you have Cydia, you have succeeded in jailbreaking. Well, thank you guys for watching. Rate, comment, subscribe. Favorite, thumbs up. And thanks for watching.